Tourism has always been a major part of Florida's legacy, and St. Lucie County is very much a part of that tradition. But have you explored all that St. Lucie County has to offer? From professional sporting events to pristine waters and secluded environmental preserves, from marine education centers and museums to diverse cultural festivals, St. Lucie County has something for everyone. So join us as we vacation in our own backyard and send you postcards from Welcome to Postcards from Home, a show that highlights St. Lucie County's natural and cultural treasures. I'm your host, Eric Gill, and each month we take a look at some of St. Lucie County's best-known parks, museums, and nature preserves, as well as highlighting some of its best-kept secrets. Today, we're going to take a scenic boat cruise on the River Lily Cruises on the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. Docked in River Park Marina in Port St. Lucie, the River Lily is a 34-passenger covered pontoon boat that offers 90-minute wildlife tours of the St. Lucie River. Owned and operated by Captain Dana Wade and his first mate Dina Wade, the Wades have been providing boat tours on the North Fork of the St. Lucie River for more than 14 years. With tours running daily from November to July, the River Lily explores the unspoiled areas of the St. Lucie River passing alligators, turtles, and birds such as herons, cranes, ospreys, and egrets. So let's go meet Captain Dana Wade, who will tell us more about their daily cruises. Well, Dana, thanks for having us here at River Park Marina. Glad, you, glad to have you here. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit about, you've got one of the longest running uh, boat tours here in Port St. Lucie. Yes, we do. We've been in the area here for going on 14 years uh, on the North Fork of the St. Lucie. Uh, we feel it's one of the most pristine, pretty, air, pretty rivers in the area. That, yeah, it is. And it's, it, it, some people may look at it and say, well, it's a little brown, but that's the tannins, right? I've, I've done a few shows about this, and it's actually the water's really clean if you dip your hand in it. That's right, Eric. Uh, the water is brackish here, and that's what makes it this color. It's a mixture of salt water and fresh water. If you took a, a clear glass, like you said, dipped it out, water would look perfectly clear. Yeah, it's, just, it's the leaves and the roots of the trees that make it that brown color, right? Actually, it's the mixture of mixture salt, salt water and fresh water okay. is what makes it that color. Let's talk a little bit. You've been doing this, like you said, 14 years. What's some of the things you can see here on the uh, North Fork of the St. Lucie? We're going to take the cameras out later and sneak aboard, but uh, it, for folks, that, I'm sure every trip's different. Every trip is different. It uh, varies with the tide. It varies with the weather, meaning as far as the temperature and the time of the year. Uh, later in the spring, we see more manatees than uh, in the dead of winter because the manatees are uh, trying to stay around power plants and stay warm. And today's a little chilly day, an unusually chilly day, but uh, hopefully we'll see some birds. We will. Okay. We'll have a good day. And uh, we, th we see alligators, turtles, and birds on our cruises. And again, it varies according to temperatures. Sure. Now, the boat itself, let's talk a little bit about the River Lily. It's sitting there behind us. It's a 36-passenger boat? A uh, 36-passenger 30, boat when I bought it. Okay. The Coast Guard has redone all of the stability, and now it's a 34-passenger okay. boat. And uh, what they've done is, uh, is up the weight. Uh, Americans seem to be getting just a tad heavier. Uh, I'm guilty so, of that so myself. So. They have up the weight restrictions, so now it's 34 plus a crew of two. Okay. And you usually have a crew of two every trip? Or? We, we are required to have two people on the boat if we have over six passengers. Uh, that way, they are Dina, my wife Dina does the narration, and I captain the boat. Okay. So we are required. To and like you on. said, it's Coast Guard certified, so I should feel pretty safe. I can swim, though, but what's the average depth here in the... Uh, North Fork. The average depth uh, from Prima Vista North runs uh, approximately eight to the deepest spot being around 21 feet. Oh, wow. But it runs an average depth of eight from Prima Vista North. From Prima Vista down to Port St. Lucie Boulevard, it runs 12 to 18 feet, with the deepest spot down in that area being around 21, 22 feet deep. Okay. So uh, it's shallower the further north you go. Okay. And you guys run trips pretty much every day, uh, November through like, around 4th of July? It varies. Call, call our phone number. Sure. And uh, November and December, we run our off-season schedule. And then from mid-January on, we run seven days a week right through till the end of May, as far as seven days a week. 
and then it slows back down. Sure. And in addition to the trips that you can also uh, imagine book it for private parties, anniversaries, corporate gigs? Yes, we do a lot of private charters. Uh, a lot of schools book us, a lot of uh, civic groups, uh, a lot of people that are having family reunions, birthday parties, in that nature. Yeah, I think you just got back with a bunch of Navy SEALs today, huh? Yes, uh, from World War II, they were all uh, demolition experts in, uh, in World War II. None of them wanted to take over the boat and drive, though, did they? No, they were <laughs> happy just to sit back and enjoy and yeah. relax. Now, you're located here at River Park Marina. This is a county-owned park, and they've uh, actually done a lot of improvements here to the park. The park looks better now than the park has looked in years. It, it's excellent. They have a new playground for the kids. They have a nice nature trail uh, for people, about a half-mile nature trail. If people want to walk along the river, picnic tables, uh, pavilions, uh, very nice. So it's, a, it's a great location for you because folks can come in, have lunch here, and then hop on the boat and go out. Let the kids play on the playground because it's about a 90 minute trip? Yes, it is. Okay. 90 minutes uh, and we go north on the river. Okay. And we do uh, in season, uh, meaning from January on, we have a Friday evening uh, early bird sunset cruise. Okay. And we go all the way up to White City Park, which is Midway Road. That's another beautiful county park with the uh, fauna, the old trees that are 200 years old or older in, in that park. Yeah. Very scenic. Butts was going to ask, do you always go north and do you mainly stick on the north fork? Because there's a lot of little tributaries and oxbows around throughout well, our, the river. Our cruise, when we head north, and yes, we do always go north, uh, we are off on the old oxbows, the old flowing patterns of the river. That's where the wildlife is. Uh, you will see later on the trip today that uh, uh, most of the areas are all protected in this aquatic preserve. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask that too. You've been doing this, you said, 14 years. Have you seen a lot of changes on the river as far as maybe wildlife? I know we've got a problem with uh, some invasive species like iguanas, and I've kayaked it and seen basculisk and iguanas that aren't supposed to be here. But uh, outside of that, is there other changes you've seen on the river over the years? Major changes in the southern portion. When we first started our cruises, we were further south on the river. And uh, as the homes, more homes grew along the river and they, they started filling in the areas, uh, we stopped seeing the nature. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to come further and run our cruises from this park. Uh, this, this park, when you go north, the areas are protected. They're either owned by St. Lucie County or the state of Florida. And again, this is an aquatic preserve. Uh, so it's, it is protected against development. So hopefully it'll keep that, it'll stay that way, hopefully for years to come. So. Exactly. Well, and how did you end up here on the North Fork of the St. Lucie? Because a lot of folks don't realize there's actually more fish and wildlife in this river than pretty much any river in the state of Florida, even though the Indian River Lagoon gets a lot of the attention, so to speak. But uh, I know there's other tours that run on the lagoon, but is, is there a reason why you guys settled here and not the lagoon? Well, yes. Uh, this river, as you said, has more different species of fish than any river in the United States. So, to verse uh, over here versus the uh, say, uh, over on the Indian River, one of the major factors on doing river cruises over here is no matter how windy it gets, it never gets rough. If today, if we were over on the Indian River, it would be white caps. My hat would be blowing yeah. off. We would be very cold. Sure. On this area, when you're off on the oxbows and even on the main river, even though you do get the wind, you don't get the waves. So we never have to cancel a trip because it's rough, because it just doesn't get rough. It doesn't get rough in a hurricane. Yeah. yeah. It's that nice. Yeah. So. And it's got that really neat jungle look to it. Um, and it's even got a little bit of Hollywood history here. It certainly does. They filmed uh, the movie Moonraker with Roger Moore in the early 60s. And uh, we kind of say one of the best productions is when HGTV came on our boat last year for Going Green. Yeah. So we, we, we consider we're part of the movie industry now. Yeah. Well, the county in the whole, as a whole got a lot of publicity out of that when it they was were giving great. away that green TV and tradition. So. And uh, we'll look to hopefully bring some more uh, movie studios down here. You know? That would be you nice. You never know. That would be nice. Um, talk a little bit too about the the trips. We mentioned you see gators. Have you 
over the years, have you ever seen, what, what's the most unusual thing you've ever seen? Well, our, our most unusual sighting was we had a 12-foot alligator right in front of the boat. We had a full boat of people, so everybody got to see this. And he had a wild pig in his snout. And the pig had been dead a little while, so it was bloated. Yeah. But what, what was so exciting is that the uh, alligator kept trying to go down with the, with the wild hog underwater. And if you've seen the, the movie Jaws, it was just like the barrels when they kept popping up. Every time he'd go down, the gator would pop back up. Uh, the wild hog would pop back yeah. up. And uh, so he did that about three times. And uh, finally, he just let go of the hog and we just meandered around the side after watching him. And we all looked back in the back of the boat and he came back up, the gator grabbed the hog and swam away. And the next day, it was a half a hog. Yeah. So that was our best sighting. Yeah, yeah. But we've seen uh, a lot, if you're a naturalist uh, and really enjoy nature, we've seen a lot of, of really good sightings. Last year, I saw a, a couple of yellow crowned night herons and their breeding plumages that I had never seen. And we do do cruises for the Audubon Society. and. Uh, we actually teach people what they're seeing, the different type of birds and everything. Yeah, well, you, so, ma you mentioned the Audubon now. I know you and your wife, you're active in the local Audubon? Yes, we've been Audubon members for uh, at least 10 years, and we do a lot of donations for the Audubon. And what are some of the birds you can see on here? I imagine ospreys are one. And yes, we actually have live uh, osprey nests, and last year we had a, uh, a pair that fledged two, two fledglings. So we see ospreys, great blue herons, little blue herons, tricolored herons, yellow crowned night herons. Once in a while we'll see black crowned night herons, cattle egret, white ibis, sometimes we'll see glossy ibis. So a variety of birds. And uh, the fauna is beautiful. And we do see a lot of turtles and alligators. Yeah. And what, what's the cost for the trip? It's a fairly reasonable, just under $20, I think? Yes, the cruise is eighteen seventy-eight plus your tax. It comes to $20 even with your tax. And uh, what should people bring with them? A day like today, probably a jacket would be good. Uh, but um, yeah, I know you recommend binoculars. Binoculars and a camera. Sunglasses are always good. And uh, just uh, play it by ear. If it's a little windy, you, should, you can bring uh, maybe a long sleeve uh, sweater or a light windbreaker you can always take your clothes off if if it gets too warm sure it, that way and it is nice too because it is a covered pond too, so you don't have to worry about too much being exposed to the sun that's right it is it is a covered vessel and it's cushioned bench seating all right you haven't lost anybody yet on the river right only in their dreams okay <laughs> they uh, we have people that have lived in the area their whole life and that grew up in this area as kids and tell us they used to swim in the river and when they come, they are lost because you can see in their eyes, they're just dreaming of what it was like back then and how much they enjoy being on the water and on the river. Yeah. Well, then if people want to find out more, uh, you guys have a website? We do. It's riverlily, L-I-L-L-Y, cruises.com. Okay. And then you have a phone number as well? We do. Area code 772-489-8344. And the website has a video and a lot of photographs. Everything is taken from the boat so that uh, you'll get a good idea of what the cruise looks like. Okay. Was there anything uh, we didn't get to mention before we wrap up? I know you've got a cruise going out soon. I want to see if I can sneak my cameraman on and show the folks at home. Of course, it's nothing like experiencing it from the boat, I'm sure. But That's right. And uh, we're just very happy to have, have you on board today and looking forward to a nice cruise. All right. Don't go anywhere, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna take our cameras aboard the River Lily and set sail here on the North Fork of the St. Lucie River.